it's like it relaxes the brain so you can have more natural creative thought. I wasn't aware that you wanted to start that today. <laughs> you can know you're in America. Like, like if you if you yawned like in a classroom or something, just like out loud with the teachers like talking, like you would you'd be like uh you'd be like chastised or something. <laughs> no, you not. Uh, it would just be like a sign of like disrespect, you know. Exactly. So. Absolutely. It seems like that. Kind of. Even you know, mm. it is a fact. You know, one one person yawns so. If there are a hundred people, so they, they will yawn back to back, means at least <laughs> at least 60 people will be yawning. That would be so funny if that became like a movement, like hashtag yawn in your teacher's class and make it be contagious and go viral. So I'm, I'm a teacher, <laughs> so I won't do that because I, I never expect from my students to do the same. <laughs> oh my God. So what do you do yeah, actually? What is it? What do you do? Oh, well, at heart, I guess I'm a holistic healer. Mm -hmm. um, and and I've, I've, I've done a variety of things. I've probably sold, like, one of just about everything. Um, but, you know, it's like at some point I found myself just becoming, like, kind of religious. Mm -hmm. And uh, I decided I wanted to, like, just sell, like, I think, like, religion. Okay. <laughs> it's so crazy. You say you're, how, like, you're, you're following your spirituality because, you know, for me, I just go with the meditation a lot, and I, I love to do imaginary activities for that. So how about you? What, how you follow the religious way and the spirituality according to you? Uh, well, I just, I just start preaching like basic principles, like that for people are treat, you know, it's like just treat other people in the way you want to be treated. And, you know, like brother, like sister, like, like father, like mother, like son, like daughter. Treat, treat people kind of like that and um just always tell the truth uh, at least don't lie uh never steal um avoid cursing in other words just say and think positive things and uh, adultery obviously and uh, i think for people like especially like healthy grown people to like somehow obey all of those rules all things considered it can be like quite challenging um for example like i had someone enter my life like mm -hmm. five days ago maybe six mm -hmm. and i've been cursing ever since they've been around because they cursed a lot when they're around me mm -hmm. and they left like this very like kind of negative vibration and i've been just kind of like shaking it off i guess and kind of like repaving and, and rerouting and, and finding myself and so, because I don't, I don't like the curse. I like to just say and think positive things as much as possible, all things considered. I think the truth is on the side of positive. positive. Just totally. That's, that's really sounds incredibly awesome. So, so as you're in America, you stay alone or with your family, like with your parents? Um, well, currently I have a roommate that um, oh, lives okay. in, this house, in this house with me. And uh i had a uh i mean i yeah i had a girlfriend but we we broke up mm -hmm. and it's probably the best for for both of us and so so where your parents uh, uh reside then where where do my parents reside uh -huh. they, they, they're not too far away from me i mean i mean my my mother she's she's not that far away and my oh, grandparents okay. oh my gosh they're so old and they're they're still going and then and I have other family and stuff, but um, I, I got people I, I talk to, but I just, I find myself wanting to be more distant from like a lot of people. And, mm -hmm. uh, and I think I am like, you know, I'm just looking to be friends with more godly people. Whoa. Like, like, I think, yeah, just mm -hmm. uh, people like you, it's almost like, you know, I, I think I would like, I, I need to get back into church. Like, uh -huh. You know, it's like every a lot of times it always felt like a breath of like fresh air. True. Like if I walked into, yeah, to like a church, you know, and everyone's like, "Hey, how are you?" And they're like, it's just like, it just like feels good. Like, and I'm not like, mm -hmm. I'm not like a Jesus freak or something, you know. Like, <clears throat> there's a lot of Christians who are like it has to be Jesus. That's like, it's like 
and I think the yeah, I think it, it means like was... you just were more active. It means it is something to reality. So as much as we can do in the real manner. So means never to show off because people really go now. Means they show off much in the spirituality, but you know, they don't follow in the realistic manner. So the way you are saying it means like you follow as in realistic way. So yeah, I I can understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so it's like uh yeah i'm just um i think that it's the, the emphasis on jesus uh is forgiveness and i think that's what that's the essence of christianity and if it had to separate itself from like other abrahamic religions i guess even though they're all much alike and very similar and obviously they're going through troubles that were sort of like predicted ahead of time like many years ahead of time um, mm -hmm. but, uh, like if you watch the movie, Bruce Almighty, <laughs> I was talking about it like a few weeks ago or so. And then all of a sudden my neighbor's like watching it yesterday. And then I'm like listening to Bruce Almighty. And then they're talking about the, the Gaza Strip, like mm -hmm. in the Palestinians, like in the thing. And I'm like, I didn't even realize this. I didn't even realize that. But you know what, like, Mr. Justin means? I, I have like, I had a talk, I think more than thousands of people ever. And you are in US and in the 21st century and being in modernity, it's, it's really not, nowadays it's really, truly less to know the guy, people like you that who really much into godly behavior, spirituality and all. So that sounds so, so positive. Yeah. Oh, that's so, you, you said you do talks in front of thousands of people? Ah, yeah, I mean, like, and I mean, like, I create webinars and um, I, I'm an international speaker, so absolutely. So, and well, I just yeah. feel like somehow I just like I became more attracted to you. Like, if I see you in person, <laughs> like, I want to give you a hug. Maybe I can't get through the crowd of people to give you a hug, but I, I might give an attempt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, don't hug her. Yeah. They got like a security guard. Like, <laughs> you know, you're going to do this. Yeah, that, that's like, what you can maybe give her a handshake if she gives you a smile. <laughs> that's seriously <laughs> amazing. And you know, even even like for for me, even being a girl, I, I do this with other girls and most of the time like I used to go to the club before, so I never used to, you know, uh means if I have a friend, so I never used to connect them with anybody and and we used to dance at all all alone separately. So guys used to like do it. So I was like Come on, oh, they don't want to, and we are quite possessive with the things. And, and let me tell you that we are coming here. We love to dance, but we are completely conservative. If you take it in this way, because you know people don't understand the freedom and uh, um, we could say the ethics. They don't understand together because, and it's really too hard them to know because, and then they just you know come up from the relate to the open mind, but. I really love the way you think about it. And this is what actually required in this amazing world. Great. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so this is really nice talking to you. Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it yeah. was cool. It was cool. And, and it was like positive talking to you. I could simply say. Yeah. Well, so, I, just, yeah. I just try to be honest and like authentic. And uh, I think they say like authenticity is the frequency that like vibrates uh i don't know if it's the highest but like the best and i'm like you know because i think sometimes like a lot of us even especially when we move up in like higher circles of life we start becoming like the people we spend time around like more than we even imagine and sometimes when we get into some of those circles uh there's a lot of actors and a lot of actresses and they're like they're putting on like a real real facade like a real show and i think that's fine mm -hmm. that's okay if that's if that's authentically who you are is to put on an act but i just love people that are like honest with like their emotions and like how they feel and how they are and i think i'm i'm even i have to remind myself to to do that sometimes because um yeah i feel i just feel like i feel sad a lot of the time and I feel like I'm just really good at like putting on like a smile and having confidence, even when I feel uh, like not not very happy. Like I just <clears throat> I'm I'm good at making other people feel happy, and I feel like I oftentimes I feel better when it's like the people 
around me are just genuinely happy and or or feel good. That's when I feel good, actually. So today, I um, mean, I I could remind my childhood that happiness is key to success, and honesty is the best policy. <laughs> <laughs> you are you stressing this thought? Can't you see what you know? Uh, uh, like the people like you give a real meaning to it, and that's what like uh, uh, maybe like oh, your parents must be so proud of you, and around you people, like most of you, you are the affirmation for them. So this is this is um, seriously inspiring, so motivating. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean. Yeah, I, I try to be like in, inspiring, and yeah, I try to be like just, just, just get yeah, a positive thought process and like an open ear, uh, really like uh, for people, and um, yeah, just like just like a plateau or like a field for people just to like be themselves or express themselves however they want, like uh, around me and. I think I've always, I think I've, uh, I've been in a sad state of mind actually for a lot of my life. I've, I've found myself being attracted to like getting back to that. And so when I think I found myself in a sad state of mind, I would listen to like a lot of motivational speakers from like, you know, it's like all over the world, you know, I, and, and that many, many, we can hear in your voice, um, uh, like as a motivational speaker. So you are like, you know, and, and I, I would give you the name as an affirmative speaker. <laughs> <laughs> because you are a real affirmation. With the time we started interacting, it was seriously a great affirmation which I could really connect with. So, and everybody, everybody, and that's what I love to do podcast with you. And um, even means it would be a great inspiration for all of them who is gonna hear. And that's the real interaction, right? That's the real thing which people should know and understand and you know sometimes really we become so much a like we could say a strong key for them that to release the stress absolutely it it feels so healing just like talking to you like i don't want to say that because i feel like you have you have some brothers or something but i feel like i'm falling in love with you as i talk to you <laughs> 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 as an in, as in humanity i could simply say because well i have a husband and we are so great to talk to mr dustin so let's learn from um him and be inspiring motivating as much as we can learn english so free <laughs>